Hello Taurus, thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux by Ciro Marchetti. Website is usgames.inc. Support of Oracle Cards, You Are Clairvoyant Oracle Cards by Belinda Grace. Illustrations by Elaine Marzen. Website is rockpoolpublishing.com.au is an Apple, use an umbrella. Okay. My camera shut off just as I put these cards down, so I already have them down. <laughs> Let's see what we have. Okay, what I'm first off getting, I'm sure we're still recording. We are good. Um, you're communicating very well with what you're seeing. And when I say very well, I really do think it's because you're looking at who you're talking to and I feel like you're adjusting within reason like if there's somebody like I need the facts just give me the facts list them off I'll handle it then alright I'll do my best to do that you're gonna make sure that they understand why you're telling them what you're telling them but you'll you'll do your best to get to the point but you're gonna make sure like I'm getting to the point but I'm also gonna make sure you understand why I'm getting to the point like it you're gonna do your best to get to that mode also, if somebody is like, they get really sensitive and you got to take a little more time, then you'll take a little more time and you'll go through the pieces and why this is this and where that is that and where it needs to be and why it needs to be there. You'll do what you need to do. I do feel like you're communicating very effectively, though. Like, you seem to be matching the energy the best ca the best you can. Like, you're not just going to give somebody a list, kind of like one, two, three, and be like, okay, have a good time. You're going to be like, well, here's the list, one, two, three, but this is why number one's here. This is why number two's here, and this is why number three's here. Like, you want to make sure not only that they do that, but you're saying, this is why this has to happen. So, you know, make sure you do them correctly. Um, if you're giving somebody a list, I'm getting, like, make sure you give the list, but maybe put a little blurp below it, like just summarizing why. Make sure you put all the parts in the storeroom before 5 p.m. And below it, kind of like, because we're going to be locking that at 5.30 and it's not, and the person who has the key won't be here for a week. And the person who's going to clean them has to be able to, you know, find them or whatever. It's like, there's reasons. Like, you might be having, like, a couple of reasons. And, like, below that, like, you might be putting the reasons. Just a couple of reasons, just so people realize this is why that has to happen. Because after 5.30... The person who has the key is going to be leaving and they're not coming back for a week. So when that person shows up in a week from now, you know, these will be safe, but then, you know, blah, 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 whatever the reason is. Um, so if somebody's not finished cleaning them, too bad, so sad, make sure they're in there by 530. <laughs> that, you know, whatever. Um, you're communicating well but I'm seeing this card come in it feels random now the death card can talk about Scorpio energy sometimes which can be random has a lot of energy um, you're trying to work with this but something is ending I don't know it's like when I feel the death card sometimes it can be like a, an abrupt start it can be I feel like, no, this just feels like an ending. Um, and you're trying to work with this energy. You're trying to balance it out. They feel like they have it under control. When you hand this over to them, they feel like a million bucks. Like, oh, yeah, I got this, Taurus. I can do this. Not a problem. This is great. It starts off with this card. <laughs> Something is ending. Like, the world is also here and these are both like big changes big changes um they're, they're different cards they're read differently but they're one something's ending something is beginning is typically what i get from both of these um it's like the similarity usually the world is kind of like one phase is finished we're going into a whole another phase it's kind of like when a when a, a teenager leaves high school but then goes to college that can be the world card like their whole world is going to change the death card is kind of like, you know, 
once schooling is finished, going into the workplace, like that's a that's a death, like no longer doing schooling, but going into the workplace. So there's a little bit of a difference between the cards, but when they both show up, like there's a dramatic ending going on here, and there's no way to turn it around. Um, it's definitely something is happening here that's causing an abrupt ending. Abrupt ending, a whole new phase, whatever you're dealing with is completely changing. Um, completely, like, boom, done. So, I'm not going to sugarcoat this, because <laughs> why do that? I don't know, I just... You got this the stress card here, the anxiety, the stress, the depression, but then you have Kuan Yin. The two of these together, that's a, it's, it's a lot. Um, and I know Taurus can handle a lot. Han wanting to handle a lot, like being able to do it, but liking it, that's a whole other story, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can do it. Wanting to do it, liking doing it, that's a whole other thing. Um, this is not, no. This is kind of like you gave somebody a list, and then halfway through the day they just quit, and you didn't know that. And then the week goes by, and then you realize half that stuff didn't get done, but you also realize the person that was supposed to do it quit and just didn't tell anybody about the list. It's It feels like that to me. Like nobody told you that person quit and just left. So a lot of stuff didn't get done. That's how this feels to me. That's literally how this, and I you do not like this. Um, but the Kuan Yin is kind of like stepping back and going, okay, wait a minute. It's not my job to babysit people. So I can't, I have too much going on. I can't just, I can't spot check throughout the day to make sure everybody kept their job. Like people have to tell me these things. That's the Kuan Yin energy. It's compassionate, but it's kind of like, you need to be compassionate with yourself. Whatever the situation was, for example, you gave somebody this list, they quit halfway through the day, nobody told you. Like, you, you're not, the Taurus, the Taurus energy, I know anyway, isn't just sitting there waiting for people to just, you know, show up and tell them things. Like, Taurus energy that I know, when you got something to do, you're going from one to the next, you got this to do, you got that to do, you're getting this done, you're getting that done. It may be like, you know, one thing at a time, but you're like, you seem to be very busy people. Um, for the Tauruses I know, very busy people. When this has to do, then I do that, then this, then that, then this, then that. And they keep going. Um, they're not just like gonna randomly stop and just check on everybody unless that's something they've done the whole way. And this is like a moment where it's, I just feel like you, part of this energy is kind of like give yourself a break, which it's, I don't know if that's gonna work because <laughs> I feel like I'm not happy. I'm kind of like looking at this like uh, that is not, like this, this list not working out really causes me problems and I'm really unhappy about it. Because you got the Three of Swords, too. Not only anxiety and stress, but you got the Three of Swords. You're really upset about it. But I'm getting this energy come in again. Kind of like give yourself a break. See the situation for how it played out. You know, give yourself the benefit of humanity in the sense of, like, you're a human. You're not supposed to do things perfectly and not for nothing. What were you supposed to do? Play nursemaid for everybody and just keep checking up on them? Like, you're supposed to do a spot check at the end of the day. At the end of the day, everybody still have their job? Like, who does that? <laughs> Everybody still working here that started this morning? Okay, great. Um, unless somebody notified you of what happened, and it could be worse than that, just to be fair, um, whatever happened here, if nobody told you, you can't be expected to be like a, a babysitter and check up on people constantly. Like, you know, you know, are you okay? Did you make it? Is everything going well? People should have... I'm also getting with the Ascended Masters, like a little extra energy that's kind of swirling here is kind of like you should have been notified when this happened. It's almost kind of like certain people should have told you because it was obvious. Communication should have come towards you. It was obvious that you should have known this, that you could have made, you know, made a difference with this, but people just didn't say anything. People should have. Somebody should have told you. Um... It's an abrupt ending. I can't get around it. There's a control thing here. All right, you know, this might help you. I don't... Okay, I'm just going to go with it. I'm just going to see where it goes. Somebody might purposely have kept that information from you to make you look bad. Now, whatever this situation is, that may seem really disgusting. And you would rather not believe it. 
I don't know. They're just saying keep it, just keep it in the back of your head. Maybe just because I feel like somebody kept that information from you, and that person is the one who should be called out for this. Kind of like, you know, somebody realized when that person didn't check out, or somebody that per somehow somebody knew. There's people who knew. And there's somebody who should have said something to you. They, like, for example, if this was like somebody who works with you but was off in another, another place doing stuff, there's another person looking out or keeping an eye on that situation. Maybe they're working in a certain warehouse, just to be fair. And somebody, like they realized the truck was left and then this person just ditched. They just left, even if they didn't tell anybody. They checked out the truck. They knew that that person quit. They had to take care of the truck. They put it away. They didn't tell anybody else. It was on them that they needed to. There's somebody else here who, sh who dropped the ball, but it's, take it with a grain of salt, it does feel like that was strategic for them. It's almost like they're trying to damage your reputation, because if they can damage your reputation, they feel like it can make them look better. It's, it could be a little distorted like that. Take it with a grain of salt, I mean, it's a general read, but I feel like the reason they're bringing that forward, if, if that fits, is don't be afraid to call it out for what it is. If somebody else, for example, this person was working in another warehouse, like, even if it was, like, in the same complex, but it was, like, you know, way on the other side of the complex, you don't usually go over there, it was their responsibility to make sure people knew because they're in control of that warehouse. Integrity is coming in with this Ten of Swords. You will own up to what's yours, don't be owning up to other people's pieces. Because for some reason, I feel like I'm not looking to pass the buck, which is good. But at the same time, people who are accountable should be accountable. If the correct person here had said what they should have said, you could have picked up the pieces and been like, all right, this happened. Let me move things around. You wouldn't have liked it, but you would have dealt with it. And you would have done something with it. It wouldn't have gone a week with this list half done. And now all these issues are here now. You would have picked it up, dealt with it, did what you had to do with it. Again, I'm not saying you would have liked it, not that you would have liked, not, not, not that you were expecting to, but it wouldn't have been an issue a week later. And these issues wouldn't have been so compounded. Like it feels like this happened, and then like a week later when it's found out, it's kind of like, oh my gosh, now that that happened, all this and this and this other thing happened, all because of that. All because that list wasn't completed. Granted, own what's yours, but let's let's walk through the situation. I feel like if you all you have to do is walk through the situation. Okay, who who quit? How far did they get through this list? Where were they when they quit? Why did they quit? Who else knew that they quit? Just like we, we're going through it like piece by piece, and I feel like it's going to be quite painfully obvious. All we have to do is walk through the situation with the right people. For example, if you have a boss above you who's kind of like, Taurus, how could you let this happen? I always depend on you. Why weren't you looking out for this? All right, let's sit down. Let's go through it piece by piece. How far did they get through the list? Where were they when they quit? What triggered them to make them quit? What happened after that? Like, for example, if there was a truck left out, did that truck just stay there all that time or did somebody notice it? Did somebody move it? If somebody moved it, why didn't they say something? Should they have said something? Stuff like that. I feel like it'll, it'll bring that energy down kind of like it'll make the appropriate people accountable for what actually transpired. Granted, I feel like you're going to take responsibility for a lot of it, but it's, it's kind of like this, this isn't completely your issue and not for nothing. It's like, what are you supposed to be, a babysitter? Like, that's how I'm looking at it in this situation. Like, if that analogy doesn't fit, but I feel like the analogy fits in some respect. I think you follow me. Because this is like, after it's done, it's done. There's just the fallout from it. And I feel like people are going to, like, I feel like whoever you're dealing with wants to believe that you didn't drop the ball. And, it, and the way I'm connecting to it, like, you really didn't. Like, the way, it's like a circumstance that wasn't expected. You know what I mean? It wasn't expected. There's only so much you can do. But I feel like even going into, like, the conversation of what happened and why, with the attitude of, like, all right, well, this wasn't good. Obviously, this wasn't good. But let's go through it piece by piece to understand exactly how it happened. So next time when this type of thing starts playing out, we'll have safeguards so that this doesn't happen again like this. You know what I mean? I mean, when it's done, it's done. 
but I don't think you're completely to blame. But I feel like it's like somebody's trying to dump it all on you. It's like somebody I feel like is being strategic and trying to like like damage your reputation so they can move on above you. But I feel like if this is really looked at for what, why, and how, I don't think that'll happen that way. I think the person who played this little game is the one that's going to you know pay the price for it, and I think that's fair. Anything else? All right, I think we're there. <laughs> Happy holidays. <laughs> By the way, this reading is valid for whenever, for whenever you come to it. So if there's a holiday or near this when you're watching it, you know, happy holiday. Um, <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's James the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below with the same email. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.